while that was in play, the chain got taken in Chicago. Buck was scheduled to be in Atlanta that week. I think he skipped Milwaukee or something like that and came straight to Atlanta after trying to check down his chain. The way fate would have it, when Young Buck actually got to Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia, I believe his schedule made it to where he had to go straight to the radio station. But a large portion of his entourage went to his actual hotel room, which included my brother and the he knew from Nashville. So when Young Buck first got to his hotel room, I happened to be in it before he was in it. And I'm in it in a room full of a whole bunch of people that he knows. I'm like a fly on the wall as far as him not knowing me. So he walks in this hotel room, fresh in town from Atlanta, fresh from the radio, fresh from the last couple of days, the chain had got taken from D-Tay. I seen you just had the yellow fellow on your platform. Shout out to D-Tay, man. That's my broski. We've been through a lot. We know a lot of the same shit. But anyway, uh, D-Tay had just had the chain taken in Chicago. This is how I met Buck. He walked into the hotel room, hadn't been able to get in touch with 50 Cent in the last couple of days because 50 Cent position, once the chain was taken, I don't want to talk to you on the phone, Buck. I'll talk to you when I see you. So Buck's anxiety is at an all-time high. He walks in this hotel room. He wants to tell his entourage about this chain. I'm just a nigga in the corner. Don't know him. Don't even know the majority of people in this room. So he goes on this passionate presentation about the moment d came and woke him up out of his bed, asked him could he wear the chain. He told this detailed story from that moment all the way up until the next day where he skipped his flight, went back to the radio station, and went through a whole process at a concert. That's why I shut out Godfather. He been my homie ever since. He tried to track the chain down. So in the process of him telling this story to his homeboys, his role management team, I'm sitting in the corner listening, and out of nowhere, I, I, acapella, I just start drowning him out rapping. This is how I met Young Buck. Okay. So at this point, you go to try to get in the to get the chain back. I take it. Once he heard what happened, once I did the rap shit, I rapped until. I hadn't reached my capacity of memorized rhymes. I was still rapping. He stopped me, he interrupted me, saying things, and I quote, oh, what the f Them is just words. Everybody know the same words. How you move a nigga with words like that? Everybody be on me with that pock shit. Dad, you got it. Your shit got the shake. I can't believe you ain't got no situation. If my folks can't make your situation shake, I'm going to find some folks to make your situation shake. You got it. So that was his response. And based on Young Buck at that time was affiliated with the level of the game he was. That was the level of relief I had at that moment. Like, okay, I didn't convince this dude of this, that, that, that. So, bam. Uh, very shortly thereafter, on the same evening, I was involved in multiple conversations over the telephone regarding that chain. Not only with um, the gang, AKA JC on Taylor, AKA the bitch boy, AKA Doja. I was in conversation with him about the chain. I also shot, I, uh, talked to the uh, the big homie Godfather from Chicago about the chain. I spoke to J.O. Felony about the chain because only reason I, I reached out to J.O. Felony because Buck said he saw some made men chains at this concert and that caused him to be nervous. I knew the homie J.O. Neighbor, Siete's, had did a collaboration with the Made Men shit back in the day. And I was just trying to show Buck I had some influence on what, as much of the shit that he mentioned. And then Suge Knight name came up with the nigga Godfather from Chicago. And uh, Godfather had some influence over this chain coming back. And... Uh, when I got on the phone with Godfather, I had just met Young Buck less than a couple hours ago, and I've been on the phone ever since politicking about this chain, which caused me to cross paths with this grown ass nigga from Chicago named Godfather. And when I jump on the phone trying to beat my chest, I let him know I'm Baby Spider from 970 East Coast. I'm from LA. 
and I got some interest in that chain being taken in Chicago. His response to that was, well, if you from LA, you need to know when I get to LA, I tap in with niggas like Suge Knight, trying to let me know how heavy he was out here in these streets. So you know, I'm two days away from being on Suge label. So I take my chance of going big. Even though I'm on the ops team now, I took my chance telling him with extras on it, well, if you tap in with Suge Knight, ask him about Baby Spider from 97th Street, wooty 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 woo woo. I put extras, extras on it. And hours later that day, shout out to Godfather, he my nigga to this day, we've been reunited. Uh, he called Young Buck and told Young Buck that, don't worry about it, you're gonna get that chain back and you can thank that Spider nigga. Confirming to me, he had tapped in with Suge, and Suge with all the ability to salt my little shit up. Instead, he stamped it, confirmed it, and then his constituent, his affiliate. I talked to Godfather the other day. He told me this, though, because we, re we was recounting this story. He was like, yeah, I talked to Suge, but that wasn't where I stopped. He said, I talked to a gang of people that day. I was like, oh, okay. So I'm thinking Suge did all the stamping, but he let me know this shit happened way back in 04. He just let me know 19 years later this year that Suge wasn't the only person he talked to that day. But um, just so y'all know, um, I've told this story multiple times on my platform or in interviews. And in more recent days, maybe about two years ago, I told the story and someone popped up in my DM telling me like, hey, Spider, I'm Wooty Woo from Chicago. I'm from, I don't want to misquote if they GDBD. He like, I'm from Wooty Woo. He said, the nigga you talking about in that story is my daddy. I, I could put you in touch with him. I'm like, you lying. So this is a grown ass man. And I can recall when I first met Godfather back then over the phone, he explained to me how he was an inactive gang member, but the structure in the organization in Chicago dictated that when he took his son to a Chicago Bulls game, he had to purchase like 19 tickets just to make sure his gang wouldn't allow him to go in public without that much security around him. That was their structure. The little boy was about eight or nine. So when the nigga popped up in my DM 15 years later, the grown ass man, I'm like, that's the nigga he was talking about that he had to buy 19 tickets to take him to a Chicago Bulls game. So we've all recently um, collabed on a couple of even business ventures. Shout out to Godfather and his son. I can't think of his son's name, but I appreciate the full circle of that relationship. And that is actually how the G-Unit Spinner was returned to home base. I don't, the, the two snitch brothers, the Mexicans that was tapped in had nothing to do with the return of that chain whatsoever. I don't know. I believe 50 has some interest in pumping up their profile to sell some type of episode he has with them on one of his TV ventures. However, they're rats and they had no involvement in that chain coming back. I've even seen Tony Ayo on some pretty big podcasts expressing that the chain came back because these two twin um, El Chapo associates um, sent the drought to the streets of Chicago in order to bring that chain back. I'm here to tell you on my mama mama, facts over feelings, that is the furthest thing from the truth. I was very personally involved with that chain coming back. And I, I might have to invite my boy Godfather. I might have to set up an interview with you and Godfather Cam, so you can get the full story. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.